blow with lots of energy. It'll be gusty. Winds gusting 30, 35 on Sunday. That'll take those uh, temperatures that will be in the 30s and 40s uh, down a couple notches. It'll feel like it's in the 20s and 30s all day long. We're going to continue to push in colder air from the north. This is the coldest air mass of the season so far, and D.C. is enveloped right inside of it for uh, the next few days. But by the time we get to the end of the week, the jet stream buckles back to the north. We get a big what we call trough or area of low pressure in the midsection of the country, and we are on the warm side. So that's going to push in some mild air once again. So by the time we get to Thursday and Friday, temperatures will be a lot warmer. Let me show you the five day outlook here. We've got those 40s tomorrow. That's in the morning, by the way. Then it gets a lot colder for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. We're right back into Thursday. We're close to 50 degrees already. So big time change in the air mass there by the end of the week. Also want to warn you the wind chill tomorrow. It's going to be a thing with uh, those wind chills down into the 20s and 30s throughout the day on Sunday and Monday morning. Thankfully, a lot of the school kids are out. It's Martin Luther King Day. It's going to feel like it's in the teens and single digits, but the little ones, the ones going to daycare, will have to bundle up for sure. Uh, Monday afternoon, it looks like it's not quite as bad, uh, but still very cold with wind chills in the 20s and teens. Let me show you the future cast going into the long range. It's pretty quiet for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. A lot of sunshine around here. It's just going to be quite cold. Heading into the end of the week, that's when we start to see that warmer air move in. Usually when that happens, we'll get some more cloud cover. So by the time we get to Thursday and Friday, it turns cloudy around here. There's our next area of low pressure. And with mild air in place, there doesn't look like a big chance for snow. There still, it's in the realm of possibilities. But right now, the way things stands as we head into Saturday of next weekend, that's our next weather maker. That one is going to be a rainmaker as well. So again, no snow in the forecast for the next 7 to 10. All right, so a lot of us have already reached our lows for tonight, and we'll see rising temperatures into tomorrow morning, and then temperatures will fall tomorrow afternoon. So kind of a uh, reverse of what is usual. 43 will be the morning high temperature with blustery conditions all day Sunday. 30s, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. There's the warm-up Thursday and Friday, and there are those rain showers. And yes, it is rain showers as we head into Saturday. All right. Thank you, Chester. At Children's National Hospital today, a little girl named Eleanor celebrated a special birthday. Eleanor recently underwent a life-saving bone marrow transplant, one that's allowed the toddler to return to preschool and live an active life like any other two-year-old, all thanks to a 19-year-old bone marrow donor named Mike Mashaw. It's a big deal for us to be able to even celebrate her birthday. For a long time, we weren't even sure if we'd make it this far. And so to celebrate a second birthday is a mon monumental occasion. Once you read about it and the impact you can have, if these people need help and you have an opportunity to help them and do something so small, just to give them a new chance of life and give them a fighting chance, and it's amazing. It's no brainer. That great guy you just heard there, Mike, the donor. He also got a special surprise today. The Central Connecticut State University football player. He received the Gift of Life Award from the Andy Talley Bone Marrow Foundation. Former Villanova football coach Andy Talley presented Mushaw with that award. All right, the Cavs down three in the third. Can they come back? Well, what we've learned is if you've got the great eight in your team, you've certainly got a chance. We'll be right back. Staying in become the new going out. When did seeing the sunrise become seeing the unimaginable? When did disconnecting turn into connecting? Show me comedies. It happens when you connect your home with Cox Internet and Panoramic Wi-Fi, starting at only $44.99 a month. My father's flag. It needs to. It needs to do more than just lay in that room in there. It's just laying around. It's not doing anybody any good. I want to fly it. We are WUSA nine. Those pre-existing conditions are protected. A broken promise. Trump repeatedly tried to undermine coverage for 134 million Americans with pre-existing conditions. He just doesn't care if you have a pre-existing condition. He wants to deny you access to coverage. If he is reelected, he'll keep Trump.